Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be, as promised, the showcase of the layers all polished, well, mattly polished, thank you to the someone who reminded me what word I was looking for in the last video because I didn't know how to refer to the surface when it wasn't polished shiny. Anyway, um, so I've got the five with me. We had two casualties in the end, so one broke on video last time. If you haven't watched that video, I'll pop it down below so you can watch that. That's the actual, like, slicing of them and sanding. Um, we did a bit more sanding. I still think some of them need a little bit more um, just to get rid of the saw marks. There's still a few on them just because that doesn't help when I'm trying to, like, analyse the surfaces. It gets a bit annoying seeing saw marks all the time. Um, so, yeah, I will show you guys. So the first layer I'm going to show you guys isn't like the first one or the last one, which probably would be make more sense if I did them in order, but it's one of my favourite layers, which is layer 3, and it's just, it's so colourful and like, don't even know, it's a bit crazy inside, so it's all like orangey and red, and I'm pretty sure like fossil like cellars and things like that, they get this layer and they slab it up like this, and they polish it really shiny, and it makes like those really pretty like agite slices, um, so I've been told. I don't know, I'll polish this one up really nicely when I'm done with it and we'll see if it looks sellable. Um, but what's cool about this is there is actually an ammonite that got cut through. I don't know if you guys can see it, so there's, you can see it on the bottom maybe. And it, it was a dactyli ulcerous, well it still is, you can see from the ribbing. It's an ammonite, I don't know if you guys are actually, I don't know if my camera's focusing on this. I am actually getting a new camera, so I'm not filming this video on my phone like I have the previous ones. I'm so sorry about that, I need to up my game, that's just no excuse for that, but um, no, so I am filming this on my current camera, but it has like, it doesn't focus very nicely when I want to like, show you guys really close up stuff, so I've got another one coming that's got a good autofocus, so, touch wood, <laughs> um, but yeah, you've just got the really nice little cross section there, and then all the other crazy stuff happening. So I mean, it's a really cool set of layers, the junction bed sediments, which is why I'm writing my dissertation on them. It's just so condensed, like, in some areas it's only, you know, a few centimetres to metres thick, and you've got so much time, like, condensed into those layers that there's some cool stuff going on. So that's layer three. This one doesn't actually have many saw marks left on it, so I'm pretty sure I can leave this one as it is. I just, when I'm analysing them, I might wet the surface just so I can see a bit better, because they're... So look at the ammonite there, and then this, don't, don't be disgusted. And then you can see it even better when it's wet. <laughs> so when I'm analysing these under the microscope, I will have like a little water spray thing to cover the surface in them, because then they look like, they basically look like shiny polished rocks, but it doesn't get rid of anything on the surface. Yeah, I don't know if that made sense. So that's this one. And then this piece here, I'm showing you all the ones that didn't break first because, you know, they're, they're my proudest ones. Um, so this is a big chunk of a layer two, and we think layer two might be two uh, fasces, which just means like split up layers, um, but it just looks like this. And you can see like all the dots on the base, and that's because it was oolitic. Um, and then you can see like these things here, so you, you can see there's something going on there. And again, it's amazing what you can see when it's wet. So if you look at it right now, and then I'm going to have a horrible taste in my mouth after this. And then you can see them there. You've got some, I think, gastropods going on. So you've got like a little swirly one there, a big one there. I really hope my camera's picking this up, otherwise I'm just licking rocks for fun. Um, so you've got that, and then there's a weird like hook thing up here kind of looks like a fingernail. Um, that was probably a really horrible way to refer to it. Oh, didn't work as well. It's like the same colour, but you can see it there. But the wetness doesn't last long when you lick it, it's why a spray bottle's a bit better. And then here, we on the other side, we've got another, I think that's a gastropod, but these are fossils anyway that I will need to identify, so we'll get them. But they've, they've just been crystallised, so they're quite pretty inside. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, and you can see my lovely lines all around the edges of these rocks. I was a nightmare when I was trying to like cut these up, well, not me personally, but when I was drawing the lines I would start on one side and I'd be like trying to do it perpendicular to the bedding all the way around and my line wouldn't line up. It's like, well I'm fading at this ma massively, <laughs> but hey ho. Um, so the next one I'm going to show you is layer one. Uh, now layer one was pretty cool because 
I wish I brought the other halves. I only took these ones back from my university because they didn't weigh as much, just bringing the slabs for you guys. Um, but obviously I do have all the rest of the rock for each of them. But, you know, I lugged them off the beach. I didn't want to lug them back from uni if I didn't need to. Um, but I can show you those at a later date. So this is layer one. And this grey bit here with these, like, they sort of look like dots. They're actually burrows, um, which is pretty cool. So... They just look like that. So this this part here is layer one, and then this is the sediment below. Just like that. And I've got to say, having made some slabs of rock now, for the first time ever, I, I generally think I want a diamond saw. I've been properly thinking about it, you know, that it's going to be a couple hundred pound investment, and I'm not sure my parents are going to be that excited about um, this, uh, you know, venture in my collection, or... I don't even know what to call it, I just want to slice up some of my rocks. I think I've got rocks that will just look so nice if I slice them and polish them up really nice. Um, but yeah, and I've also got some that could just use with like the surface being polished up a little bit. I don't know, I need to talk to someone who knows about this stuff and then decide if it's worth it. And also I'm not going to do any of that until I finish university because I do not need another distraction. Like I create so many distractions for myself. Technically this YouTube channel distraction but uh it's a good distraction so it's fine um moving on to the broken ones so this one recently broke this is layer full i need to remember what layer these are and it so it's not like the end of the world it's only a little piece but it's it's not ideal so this is the main chunk and we've got a funky looking thing in the corner here and then what's quite cool here is it kind of looks like an arrow <laughs> but um yeah, so I'm looking forward to working out what's going on in these rocks. Um, I haven't actually got around to looking at them just yet. I need to do that soon because ev everyone makes mistakes and then it's got to be refined. But um, no, I, I want to know what this thing is. I've not seen something like that before. So if you happen to know what this is, <laughs> drop me an email. No, that would, that would be cheating, wouldn't it? I'm going to figure it out myself. Um, so that's layer four like that Ooh, just dropping all the pieces and then this is layer one and two or potentially just all two um i need to properly like look at it under a microscope and decide if it's actually a like one or whether it's all two we'll see there's a fly and i don't know if you guys could see that it was like flying right over my lens but i don't think my camera picked it up luckily but i did <laughs> um so this is this one this is the one that snapped right in the middle whilst we were sanding it and i have just super glued it um, and it seems to seems to be holding, but it's super glued al along a erosional boundary, so it's all like quite crumbly anyway. So eventually, the glue is just going to crumble with it at some point. So I've got to be this one's delicate, <laughs> but this one's quite cool. You got like a nice bellum knight here. You can see the long one. The bellum knight looks so nice in one of the halves, like the half that was attached to this bit. I don't know if I showed you it in my other video. If not. <clears throat> you'll see it in a future video or in a picture on my Instagram, um, which is linked down below if you guys want to check that out. But I'll, I'll lick this Bella night so you can see it better. Mm -mm. So here we've got like the long length of it sliced through and here we've got that way sliced through. <laughs> I really hope my words made sense there. But um, yeah, they just look like that. So they're pretty funky rocks. There's a lot going on in each of them. Um, so I'm really... You know, I'm hoping I can piece together a sort of like a history or a timeline about what the environment was doing, you know, when these rocks were being deposited. Uh, and that's the whole aim of my dissertation, basically, in a nice summarised sentence. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, yep, that's today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed seeing my little slabs. As promised, I thought I would show you guys. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments what you thought. Thanks for watching.